Okay guys, unfortunately today it's a little bit overcast, but I wanted to do a before video on this truck. Really, really nice truck. We did for uh, Danny and Rod here with J&D Enterprises. And it's a really beautiful two-tone truck. And so it is a 2022 Pete. It does have the new digital dash. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about dash layout because I haven't done one with the new digital screens with the navigation. I did want to shoot a very heartfelt thank you to Danny. Um, not because he's buying this truck for me, but he's taught me a lot about building trucks. And I feel like I'm much better at what I do. Um, with some very valid input from him and he's been uh, gracious enough to kind of help me through some of the specs on what we've done on trucks but uh, he did this truck and it turned out really really cool so nice straight line off the cow panel we did a copper colored now this is a little bit of an off-white you can't it's kind of hard to tell today just because of the overcast um, it is a metallic paint. I'm not going to say what color it is because it's Danny's truck. And if he wants to put it in the comments, that's up to him. But we did do the metallic frame to match. And I did a little video uh, talking about paint narratives. So when you choose a metallic frame paint, you do not get warranty from the factory. That's one of the sacrifices you get. And it does have to be approved by Peterbilt. And the other uh, trade-off on getting a metallic frame paint, and, and again, I wish it was overcast so that we could see better, is it doesn't have quite the luster of the clear coat like you would on the fenders. So I don't know if you can kind of see that shine and luster off the fenders. It's still going to have a nice uh, glow to it. It's just not going to be the grade of gloss. It is a little bit different resin. So this is a standard 280 wheelbase, low air leaf. It is a 78 inch mid roof, or sometimes a 78 inch ultra as we call them. He did the low lube steel all in fifth wheel. Did a 565 Cummins, 1850 torque, or I'm sorry, 2050 torque. Um, air ride, all the goodies. So we did a black and tan interior on this one with sear seats. Again, we haven't done the PDI on it yet, so. I haven't had it fully detailed. I just washed the outside. So as you can see here, uh, Danny opted for the navigation system on there. So with the new horizontal layout with the electric over air, we were able to get one extra gauge over what you used to be able to do. So you could put another row of rockers in there if you want. Um, then we added a few more gauges in here. Of course, you got your digital screen we've talked about, but more importantly, I wanted to talk about the B panel layout. Um, Danny did a rear rear locker on this truck, which is a great idea. It helps kind of keep your cost down, um, but there's specific reasons why he does that. He gets better traction. Um, he also runs auto chains, so um, if that's something that's uh, an idea for you and you want to try it out, we can talk about that when we spec out your truck. I'm going to have hopefully some more availability on the second half of 2022 guys. I know there's a lot of buzz that you can't get trucks for two years. I have a feeling that things are starting to lighten up a little bit and get better. Um, but I just wanted to uh, kind of let you know, keep calling, don't give up. 
I'll keep you guys posted on YouTube every time I have something come available. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit the button in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe. We'd love to have you, and we'll talk soon. Stay safe, everybody.